Hi everyone, today we're going to study double integral with constant limits. The general form is here, the double integral from C to D and from A to B of a function xy dx dy. Take note that in here, the dx comes first followed by dy. Now this is the second form, the double integral from a to b and from c to d. The function xy dy dx. Also, note that in this second form, dy comes first followed by dx. Let us focus first on the first form. To simplify this, the first step is to simplify the inner integral, and that is the definite integral from a to b of the function xy dx. It means we are going to integrate the function with respect to x. In doing so, we say that integrating with respect to x means y variable is taken as a constant. We can write the inner integral down here, and when we simplify this, we will find out that the resulting function will be capital P with respect to y, which means a function with respect to y. And then, we are going to substitute this value for the inner integral. Now, we have like this. A simplified integral, the definite integral from C to D of capital P of Y dy. Of course, we know how to simplify a definite integral like this. We shall evaluate the other form, the double integral from A to B and from C to D of the function xy dy dx using similar process. Look at this example 1. Evaluate the double integral from 0 to 1 and from 0 to 2 of the function x y square dy dx. For our solution, the first step is to evaluate the inner integral. So we can write like this. We can copy this on the side and let us do the integration. We're going to integrate the function with respect to y because here we see that this is dy. Integrating with respect to y means we take x as a constant. So the integral of x y square with respect to y is equal to x times y cube over 3. And this is to be evaluated from 0 to 2. Substituting the values we have now, x times 2 cube over 3 minus 0 cube over 3. The 0 cube over 3 is 0, so we can cancel this out. The 2 cube over 3 multiplied by x is now 8x over 3. We can see here that the answer is a function of x. And this value we will substitute in here. So we have now the simplified integral from 0 to 1 of the function 8x over 3 dx. The integral of 8x over 3 is 8 over 3 times x squared over 2. We can simplify this into 4x squared over 3 to be evaluated from 0 to 1. Substituting the values, we have 4 times 1 squared all over 3 minus 4 times 0 squared all over 3. Because of the 0, the second group can be cancelled out. 
when we simplify the first group, we will get the value 4 over 3. This is the final answer. Example 2. Evaluate the double integral from 1 to 3 and from 0 to 2 of the function xy plus 5x squared dx dy. First step, we will evaluate the inner integral. We can write like this. And let us copy the inner integral on this side. We are going to evaluate this with respect to x because we have dx here. Integrating with respect to x means we take y as a constant. So the integral of xy is y times x squared over 2 plus integral of 5x squared is 5 times x cubed over 3. That we can simplify this into x squared y over 2 plus 5x cubed over 3. And this is to be evaluated from 0 to 2. Substituting the values, we have now 2 squared times y over 2 plus 5 times 2 cubed over 3. This is for the first group. Minus the second group, 0 squared times y over 2 plus 5 times 0 cubed over 3. Because of the 0, the second group will come down to 0. So we can cancel this all. Now let us simplify the first group. And this is equal to 2y plus 40 over 3. Take note that our answer here is a function of y. Now let us substitute this in our double integral here. So the simplified integral now becomes the definite integral from 1 to 3 of the function 2y plus 40 over 3 dy. Let us do integration now. The integral of 2y is 2 times y squared over 2 plus 40 over 3 will have the integral of 40 over 3 times y. We can simplify this into y squared plus 40 over 3 times y. And we will evaluate this from 1 to 3. Substituting the values, we have now 3 squared plus 40 over 3 times 3 for the first group. Minus the second group, 1 squared plus 40 over 3 times 1. Simplifying the two groups, the first group becomes 9 plus 40 minus the second group is now 1 plus 40 over 3. We can use our calculator to simplify this line and the final answer will be 34.67. This is the final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.